In this problem, we are given a discrete function as a set of points on the coordinate plane, and then asked to represent the same function using a set of ordered pairs, a table, as well as function notation. To represent a function as a set of ordered pairs, we use set notation, which means we begin with an open curly bracket, and then we list the ordered pairs, and then we use a closed curly bracket on the right. Working our way from left to right, notice how the first point has an x value or input of negative five, and an output or a y value of seven. And therefore the first ordered pair is negative five comma seven. The next point has an x value or input of negative three, and a y value or output of five. The ordered pair is negative three comma five. The next point has an x value or input of zero, and a y value or output of two. The ordered pair is zero comma two. The next point has an x value or input of three, and a y value or output of negative one. The ordered pair is three comma negative one. And for the last point, the x value or input is five, and the output or y value is negative three, and therefore the ordered pair is five comma negative three. And again, we have a closed curly bracket on the right. And now we're asked to give the same function as a table, where the first row will be the x value, and the second column will be the corresponding y value or function value. So because the first ordered pair is negative five comma seven, the first row on the table is negative five and seven. The second order pair is negative three comma five, and therefore the second row is negative three and five. The third order pair is zero comma two, giving us a third row of zero and then two. The fourth order pair is three comma negative one, giving us the fourth row. And the last order pair is five comma negative three, giving us the last row. Again, we have the inputs or x values in the first column, and the corresponding outputs or function values in the second column. And now we're asked to give the same function using function notation, which is g of x equals y, where again, x is the input, and y is the output or function value. We can also indicate this as g of the input is equal to the output. So using the table or the ordered pairs, when the input or x value is negative five, the output or function value is seven, which indicates that f of negative five is equal to seven. Again, when the input or x value is negative five, the output or function value is seven. The next row or ordered pair is negative three comma five, which again means when the input or x value is negative three, the output or function value is five, giving us f of negative three equals five. The next ordered pair is zero comma two, where zero is the input or x value, and two is the output or function value, giving us f of zero equals two. Next we have the ordered pair three comma negative one, which indicates f of three equals negative one, and the last ordered pair is five comma negative three, which indicates that f of five is equal to negative three. And again, each of these represents the same discrete function. I hope you found this helpful.